Hello everyone, my name is Ozeruzos and welcome to another little TF2 series on my channel. And it's gonna be a little like engineer setup videos type of things for payload. And I'm gonna go, go, go through every map and tell you guys where are the best places to set up on each map. Now I only play payload like I've said before, so I won't be doing any CP maps. But if you really want me to, I guess I can try to learn those maps, but at the moment I really only play payload. Uh, so, of course, as you know, the engineer on Red Team, you're pretty much the key to defense. Without an engineer, it's basically impossible to, to defend well, especially if the blue team is any good at all. So, for the first point on Red Team on Badwater, you know, they come through this tunnel, then they appear right here. Uh, but from the start, you know, usually like a soldier or demo man is pocketed by a medic, and they come up here and try to take out your sensors and whatnot. So, really the main place where you want to set up your first place right here for this first point to defend it. Just put up a, uh, essentially going right there. And then put up a dispenser right there for your team to use. And then, of course, put down, uh, I would have put down a, a teleporter entrance over there, but I forgot. Oh, uh, whatever. And then you would put down the exit right here somewhere. Really, the exit doesn't really matter as long as you have one somewhere. Um, and, of course, by the time the, the setup time ends... Uh, you're actually supposed to have like at least a level two uh, sensor gun and a level two dispenser, and maybe you can upgrade the dis the teleporter. Uh, but I, I I personally never really do that. Uh, I mainly just focus on my dispenser and my sensor gun. Now, for the most part, at least um, if you play if you play competitive, then what you would do is come up here and then your your teammates would suicide for you so you can collect the gun metal so you can upgrade upgrade your stuff faster. But in pubs, uh, your teammates never do that ever. I'm, I've yet to see someone do that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you won't be able to upgrade them very much. But like I said, I've at least get a low level 2 on both of these things. And of course, build the teleporter. But I wouldn't really worry about upgrading them s too much. Now, the second place you can set up is directly over there. Um, these are really the only two places that are really viable. Uh, some people like to put it right here. I don't really see the logic behind that because the demo demo man can just spam the heck out of him from way the heck down there. So t sending up right here really isn't good. I, I honestly don't understand why people do it, uh, but people do. And of course, just bring your, your your dispenser down and put it like right there somewhere, and put your teleporter down, or pu or put your teleporter down either uh, right there or inside this little building right here. And that's basically for this for first point here. I guess we can go over to the, uh, so after they cap this, really, once you die here, or once your sensor gun blows up, I wouldn't really recommend trying to build it back up, because it'll probably just get you killed, and always, as an engineer, you always would rather have your sensor gun die than yourself, because you're kind of a big deal to your team. So, once, once you lose your first sensor gun, I was... If your team kills the entire blue team, then you can rebuild. But if there's there's some other people alive, like a soldier or demo man, then I highly recommend moving over here to this to the second point and just get a head start on setting up. So always build your sensor gun over here, uh, more or less on the this so this half of the building, and then build your dispenser right here. And yeah, build your self explanatory and just build your dispenser here. Then most people uh, just jump on top of their dispenser and build the teleporter up here. And that is pretty viable. You can also put it down right here if you just built your dispenser somewhere else. But some people also put it right there. I wouldn't put it right here or right here because, of course, I'm going to go going through this gate right here and yeah, just completely wreck it. And dispensers are kind of a big deal. So I wouldn't really do that if I were you. And I don't think we'll have enough time before the round ends to tell, I'll talk about the, the next point. So I will be back in just a bit. For the next point. Okay, I am back. And once you lose this point right here, I really want just once you die and or lose the sensor gun, because don't try to build build up there. Just this is not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Okay, so for the next point, for the most part, an engineer is basically always built up here. Or at least if you're trying to win, at least. Uh, what you want to do is build your. This is mainly only do this if you're using the Wrangler. If you don't have a Wrangler, then this spot is absolutely useless. Uh, but if you if you're, if you're gonna play this map seriously as an engineer, then you need the Wrangler. So just equip the freaking Wrangler for Christ's sake. It's pretty OP along with the uh, Rescue Ranger because you can basically keep a sensor gun alive forever until like you get get backstabbed or something. 
A big part about this, to avoid uh, spies, what you can do is build a dispenser either right here, blocking the doorway so the spies can't get in without jumping over it or sapping your dispenser so it'll like mess them all up. Or place it right here, but it's kind of easy for people to get to it. Uh, but for the most part, what you want to do is build it right here so that a spy can't get past it. Because if I'm a spy right now, I'm like, oh my god, I can't get past this dispenser. I'm going to hit it. Or like sap it, but then of course, if you're an engineer, you'll know that. So you can come up here and just kill the spy and then desap the sentry. Okay, sorry about that. So what, like, like I said, uh, the spy can't get past this because, like I said, once again, he'll sap it or hit it. Then you can come over here and kill him. And of course, that'll help out your team greatly because the spy is down. And what if you, if you do want to build a teleporter, you can either place it right here. Or for the most part, people just build it right here. Um, yeah, you can just build your t the entrance over there, like I said. Okay, now for the very last point, uh, this really just differs in what your personal preference is. You can either build a sister gun right here, uh, or you know, place it right here. These are really the only two viable places on this map. Uh, for some reason, I see engineers build them up, up here with a Wrangler, but that is too far away. Like, you can't hit anything with the rockets on it, and it's just easy for soldiers to just spam it out. And once your sensor gun goes down over here, uh, what you can either do is, is go uh, mini sentries, or if you're just freaking, you're, you really want to build a level 3 sentry gun, then what you can do is build up a level 3 sensor gun right here. And of course, you'll be able to go into this, but I can't at a moment. And you guys level up level 3, and then what you can do is move this, move this up here, and so you can use this wall to protect your sensor gun. So that you can keep it right there, and you can protect the cart. Uh, I mean, the point, rather. So if you do want to use mini sensors, you can do that. Uh, I mean, a low level 3 is one, one zero, yours blows up right here. But for the most part, I would just recommend going mini sentries. That's just the best viable place. And for your dispenser right here, you would just place it right here beside it. And of course, you wouldn't need a tel teleport entrance because, because you're right freaking here next to the door. But actually, what some engineers do, this is kind of a pro strat, I don't really do it. But what you can do is build a, a, an entrance right here, and then build an exit, like, directly right here, just in case you need, need to make a quick getaway with a sensor gun to protect it. So that's just a pretty good strat, but it's kind of situational. Like, they're uh, not really going to need it. Okay, so this is going to be it for, you know, the red team. Uh, we'll be doing another video. Actually, I should do this all in one, I guess. Um, yeah, I could do this all in one video. Heck yeah. So I'll be right back on the offense. Okay, I am back on the offense, says the engineer. And playing as engineer is actually quite a bit different while you're on the blue team. You aren't really that important. And really, the only importance that you have is staying on the cart. You just all you're always on the cart. Uh, of course, there would be just havoc everywhere, but as an engineer, you always stay on the cart on blue team. Uh, for the most part, you and the and you and one other scout need to always be on it at, at some point. And for the for its early building stage, what you want to do is build a dispenser right here. You, you, can, you can't really get blown up uh, unless it's the only, the only place it's going to go down is if a spy saps it. And as for your sentry gun, it's really it's a mini sentry. They don't really matter. You can place them out. Uh, of course, just place one down right the time you get out. Just give like a distraction. But once that one blows up, I recommend putting it right here to give some support for your dispenser. And while, while you're pushing the cart along through this tunnel, uh, try to level it up a bit. I wouldn't really worry about that very much at all. And uh, so once you cap uh, this place. I would leave your stuff over there, but it's up for your, your mini sentry. Once you get about halfway through this thing, just keep on placing them down as you move along with the cart. And once you cap this place, then you want to put down a dispenser right there, along with a teleporter e exit. And of course, you would go back and place down an entrance if you ever died while pushing the cart. Once you respawned, and you would place down the teleporter. But if you do, if you never died while capping this, which is kind of rare. Then just go back, place down the entrance, and then come back, place down the exit. And then once you do this, just keep on pushing the cart, and just keep on building along many centuries as you keep on pushing the cart. And once you cap this place, over meow, 
thing is start to spawn a uh, little closer. So just keep on building your dispensers, of course. Uh, build one right here, right, maybe, or right there, or right there. And once you get up to here, then I recommend either building one right, right here, if there's still people over here. But once you clear out this area, I'll place down your, your dispenser right here along with an entrance. See the, I mean, I mean, um, an, an, uh, an, uh, gosh, an, an exit and put it right there or right there. I personally always put it right here just to, so that no, no one can blow it up if they shoot up my dispenser. And once you do that, you probably, that's really just where, where they're going to stay for the rest of the match. And of course, let's keep on b moving along the carts. Assuming the cart is here, I just don't feel like pushing that freaking thing right now. I just keep on put, putting down mini sentries once you get too far away from them. I just keep on building them and just give give them some support for your team. Now, engineers, you know, you aren't really very much of an offensive class. Uh, if it makes any sense, you're playing defense on offense. But the only offense you're doing really is just pushing the cart. You're all, you're always on the cart. Never leave the cart as a blue engineer. And also, never go level 3's on payload, it's not useful <laughs> at all, it's just not. I uh, just keep on going with mini sentries and try to be as offensive as possible, but of course try not to die. Because uh, of course, your buildings are always way less important uh, than yourself. So if you can, then have your level 3 dispenser die over you, because you're the one pushing the cart. And without no one pushing the cart, you're going to lose time, and if you lose time, you're going to lose. So, yeah, that's basically it for Bad Water. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next Engineer Tip video. Next one will either be on Upward or Barn Blitz or Gold Rush. No no one really really takes Gold Rush seriously because it's a really broken map in my personal opinion. It's way too easy to just get stuck there. It's not a very good map design in my personal opinion. But I will be doing that one. And I uh, hope to see you then. Bye bye.